You like it, girls? Yeah. Did you hear it? Something's moving back there. I got a little nervous there, oh jeez. Oh. We've been in our house for a couple weeks now and it is still looking pretty empty. Today we're having some guest room furniture um, being delivered. We have the bed and the dresser, I think one of the nightstands, but we still have a lot that needs to come. You like it, girls? Good morning. Never have my eyes seen something so amazing. The colors of the clouds around you reflect the beauty. Well, Maya was playing with the drawer on the nightstand and it was working just fine and all of a sudden we can't get it open. She insists she didn't do anything to mess it up, but we can't get it open now. I never played with it. I saw you opening and closing it, weren't you? No, I just opened it to look in it and I shut it. it. And that's all you did? Mm-hmm. Daddy got it! Yeah. What happened? <laughs> the nail came out of the rail and was blocking the door. See, I totally didn't do anything. <laughs> How did the nail get loose? That's the question. I forgot. I did see them jumping off of the nightstand. Probably no more jumping on furniture, girls. Mm. It's a pretty standard household rule, right? No jumping on furniture? I think so. So cartwheel and handstand all you want on the floor, but no jumping on the furniture. This guest room is so ginormous that it's actually pretty tough to fill. We have the bed area over here with our nightstand bed, another nightstand coming, and the dresser. Over here we have a lot of space. Addie's my Vanna White, showing off everything. <laughs> so I've ordered a sleeper sofa for over here, that way we can have people use the big king size bed. Plus if we have more, we have a whole sleeper sofa to use as well. Coffee table I need to get on. Then in the corner Miss Maya's and I'm thinking we might put a desk. And then over here we need to get some type of TV stand and TV probably. Because if you're staying somewhere on vacation, a little getaway, you have to have some TV to watch at night in bed. At least I do. Turning into Cleopatra, Maya. How do you know that, that I'm her? Oh, I just do. That's what the costume is called. Cleopatra. I like that. It's like a, it's like a true Egyptian. I nope. think this looks better. That looks better. Okay. Maya, since when does Cleopatra have purple hair? Um, she dyed it. Oh, I like the look. So, you know what my favorite type of Egyptian princess is? The kind that folds laundry. <laughs> Addie, you're such a good helper. Thank you for your help, princess. You see Cleopatra too. Plop. I don't know what it is about laundry, but laundry is my least favorite house chore. I would rather do pretty much anything. It just, it's something about it. It takes forever to get through it all. You get it all put away finally, and by the time you have it all put away, your laundry basket is full again. Do you find that funny, Addie? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite house chore is one, emptying the dishwasher. Two is laundry. I just like folding it. You do like folding? Yeah. Like well, folding. you can fold all day long, girl. <laughs> and it's funny how different the kids are with their willingness to help out because Addie's just a natural helper. And she will, you know, help do the dishes, she'll help do laundry, she'll basically chip in. Maya, it is like pulling teeth to get her to do any sort of chore, any sort of cleaning. I often have to go up with her when it's time to clean her room and guide her, pick up this, sort that, make your bed, and be there for every little step. And as we're cleaning, Miss Maya is in there playing, sending notes to the door. She basically has no desire to come in here and help out. Can you take your dress up to your room, buggy? No? It's scary. It's scary. not scary. It's your bedroom. So I don't know if it's just like an, an age thing. Maybe she just needs a little bit more guidance at this age and um, more modeling for what it means to have a clean room. Um, but luckily Addie at least is very helpful and she chips in pretty well. Ooh. This is my car. 
down fire trucks to put this. Where's my bike helmet? We have a lot of power wheels in our garage and we truthfully haven't had them out very much since we got here. I think Addie's driven around in the driveway a couple times, but that's about it. Our neighborhood is very, very hilly, so I'm not sure it can even take the hills of the neighborhood. So we thought we'd try them in the backyard a little bit and see if they work out there. I'm a little bit scared that once we get it down the hill, we won't be able to get it back up though. Smash it. It's moving. It's crazy. I need to look at this. Thing. Well, we're getting a little sidetracked by the big bug that was in the middle of the driveway. Alright, I think it's crawling out of the way. Alright, everyone, back to work. Just not making it up the driveway, Maya. I need to get all the way down. All right, back up first, then try going for it as fast as you can. Colin. I think Addie is ready to try to tackle the backyard now. She's a brave girl. Ah! I'm just scared. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. All right, Addie got a little scared, so I'm gonna give it a try. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! I'm getting scared. You probably shouldn't go sideways. <laughs> Whoa! Bye, I found a big statue. And he found an old statue down here. That, 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 that wasn't here the last time we were here. Kitty or was it a bunny? I think maybe it was a bunny and the ears fell off. It wasn't here the last time we came in our backyard. It wasn't? No. Quiet guys, I feel like I hear something. Did you hear it? Something's moving back there. There's definitely something moving back there right now. We've learned that there are deer out here. There's a family of skunks apparently, so I'm really hoping there's not a skunk out there walking around. They're gonna go explore some back there. Yeah, we, we know a all sorts of things to discover in our backyard. Freddy's where it's born down here, and like there's a little creek in our backyard. And we don't care if we step in water, because we just walk on like these rocks. Or I think our fire truck might be stuck and it might be spending a lot of time down here because there's a big hill back there to get back to our house and I don't know if I'm gonna lug it back up it. Does daddy wanna lug it up the hill? Sounds like I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure it would be a big help. You did it, Colin! Yay! Good work! <laughs> I bet Daddy's gonna say that's the last time the car goes down there. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Come on, Colin! <laughs> well, we were down in the backyard for maybe 15 minutes and I have bites all over the bottoms of my legs, like the ankles, and 
They are so itchy and I'm hoping they're just little bug bites and don't have poison ivy or something scarier like that. I'm just gonna be sitting here scratching my legs for the next like half an hour because they itch so badly. So I haven't figured out living here, do we just have to put bug spray on like every day we go outside? Or does it get better? I think it gets better with the winter, surely. I'm hoping this is temporary, couple more months of bug bites and then winter months will be bug bite free. In the meantime, I'll just be itching. Go Colin! Whoa! Oh jeez! <laughs> I got a little nervous there, oh jeez! Do we trust you behind the wheel, Colin? <laughs> this is his first time behind the wheel by himself, so I'm a little worried. kids have that little burst of energy just before everybody's about to crash. So the key is getting everybody to bed before the fun ends. Thanks for watching Tic Tac Toy and Tic Tac Toy Family. We'll see you guys next time.